Hey guys, it's Marcus here from blogprofitnetwork.com and in this video what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to edit a simple squeeze page. Now on my blog I have this squeeze page for you to be able to edit. You can download it as a zip file and do exactly what I'm teaching you in this video. Uh, that's at blogprofitnetwork.com. Just put your name and email or click the link below this video and uh, put your name and email in the box there to get this really cool template. But for right now, what I want to do is I want to show you how it works. Okay, so first of all, uh, I want you to notice that I'm opening this page from my computer, not from the web. Okay, you could do this from the web, but you will need to save it. Okay, so I open the page like this and I can see what's going on. Now, in addition, what I also do is I go to my files here and I want to open this as a notepad file. Okay, and when you open it as a notepad, what's going to happen is you're going to see the code, the files uh, for this particular site. Watch, I'll show you exactly how it works. So we could see here the background color right here. Uh, we could see uh, P Align Center, and you can you can basically see what's there, right? So uh, special gift for free, uh, special free gift for Brian. So if we want to change this and we want to say special free gift and take out the name. All right, all we have to do is hit File, Save, okay, and then go here and refresh it, and you see how it changes that. Okay, so this is basically how you want to edit all of your squeeze pages and your templates and everything like that. For example, if we were to say, okay, well, I'd like to put a YouTube video uh, on this on this template, right? Maybe you have a YouTube video that says, hey, here's how to opt in or here's how to get this free tool or, or whatever it is, right? All you would do is say, okay, well, where do we want it? Okay, and let's say I wanted it uh, above the arrows but below the click part, right? All I would have to do is go to YouTube. Okay, we'll do this here. Here we go. And if you guys like this stuff, you should definitely subscribe to my channel by clicking the little picture of my face uh, on the video. I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute as well. So here we are. We're going to go to YouTube, and we're going to get one of these examples. Okay, so let's say uh, we're going to put this uh, finding niches one. Okay, let's say this was our, our, our file that we want. Okay, all we got to do is hit share, go down to... Let's see if it wants to load today. It looks like it's being a little slow. We're going to go to embed, okay? And we'll put the embed code right like this, okay? We want to go 640 by 360, share the playlist. No, we don't want to share the playlist, okay? And let's see here. Okay, I think we're good to go, right? So all we'd have to do is take this code, all right? Find where we want to put it on here find where that is in our code so let's say here's our arrows okay this looks like our arrows here and then we would just put this right here file save right and always save it so that you can go here and just reload it and see what it looks like right really simple you don't even need an html editor or anything like that and it basically just puts all the info on there for you and you'll notice that as soon as my internet decides to be a little faster than a snail we will in fact have that video here right and it's really easy to be able to uh, check things out really easy to be able to uh, manipulate this right and while we're waiting for that video Another thing I want to talk to you about is the way that Aweber works, okay? This template is actually set up using Aweber as our example, okay? So you could see here, when you go down to the code, right, we're going to go here, we have Aweber script leads, blah, 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 okay? We're going to look for our Aweber list name, okay? This is the name that you named your list in your actual uh, Aweber account, right? So that way it knows to put the leads to you and not to me. Okay, so we're going to go here and we see uh, input hidden name unit value equals simple blog, right? So if you want to change this and you want it to be something like uh, maybe your list is called lead man 500 or whatever, okay, you want to change that. Next, we have our redirect, which tells us exactly where we want them to go after filling out the form. So if I want them to fill out the form and go to Google or whatever, right? We don't want them to go to Google right after filling out the form. We'll take them somewhere else, right? Uh, we could put that in here, like a page on our site, a blog, whatever. All right, next up, we have this one, which is hidden name on list. Okay, this means if they're on your list or if they use a fake email, 
that they're redirected somewhere. Okay, if you leave this blank, it'll just say, hey, dude, you need to get the right email or something like that. Now, for me, I always just send them to the thank you page anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to put that uh, Google in there again. Okay, so that's basically how it works. Um, you can go through, you can edit the text, you can edit just about everything. We'll go ahead and save it, right? And you'll see here, that now we have our video which should show up uh, sometimes YouTube slow like that but your video will show up uh, you have this edited to the other person's um, information and everything like that uh, let's see here looks like we got some errors all right let's open this again We'll just go ahead and open it with uh, Firefox here. Okay, so we have a special free gift. We have all this stuff. Uh, it is leading to the correct uh, address here. Uh, you can go through and change the download button. You can change whatever you want simply by just looking at that code uh, in, your, in your stuff here. So like right here, let's see, where did we go? So like right here, Okay, you can see that the submit button is going to be down here, submit source equals uh, WSO free or whatever you want to call it. So like if I wanted my submit button to be anything else, right, I could literally get whatever I want, right? If I was to go to google.com and I say, okay, well, I want my submit button to be Google, right, which you wouldn't want, but just so you guys get the idea of how it works. And of course, make sure that you do in fact have the copyright to your images. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to change this download button into our Google button here. All right, so we'll go like this, All right, like this, and we'll reload. And now, once they put their name and email in, they hit Google and that's like our submit button. So this is basically how HTML works. Uh, what I would recommend is, is playing around with this. Uh, you know, use it, test it, see how you can manipulate things. Uh, play around with the color. If you want to make different color here, right, you can look this up. This is called a hex color code. Okay, and you can see I made it black there. Uh, so if you want to learn hex color codes, I have those on my site as well, and as well as other instructions on how to do this. Very, 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 very uh, important to look at. Very easy, very good stuff, even for bloggers, right? Uh, if you're a blogger, you still want to know this stuff as well because WordPress works on uh, the same level as how HTML works. So a lot of times uh, when you're doing WordPress, you can go in and, and change things there as well. Okay, and then of course when you're done, test it out, see how it works um, and everything like that. So Marcus from blogprofitnetwork.com, click the link below this video, uh, go to my site, get all these tools, everything like that, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we're going to give you some other really cool stuff and show you how to build a mailing list fast. Actually, this exact page has gotten me, I think, close to 70 leads already today, and it's only early in the afternoon. So use it, make money, build a list, and I'll see you in the next video. Again, click the link below this one uh, to get all the tools and hex codes and everything like that. All right, see you in the next video.